Question 32.7. Questioner, what is the difference between violet ray and the others? Answer, I am Ra. The violet ray, just as the red ray, is constant in the sexual experience. Its experience by other self may be distorted or completely ignored or not apprehended by other self. However, the violet ray, being the sum and substance of the mind, body, spirit complex, surrounds and informs any action by a mind, body, spirit complex. Question 32.8 Questioner, do the energy transfers of this nature occur in the fifth, sixth, and seventh density, all the rays? Answer, I am Ra. The rays, as you understand them, have such a different meaning in the next density and the next and so forth that we must answer your query in the negative. Energy transfers only take place in fourth, fifth and sixth densities. These are still of what you would call a polarized nature. However, due to the ability of these densities to see the harmonies between individuals, these entities choose those mates which are harmonious thus allowing constant transfer of energy and the propagation of the body complexes which each density uses. The process is different in the fifth and the sixth density than you may understand it. However, it is in these cases still based upon polarity. In the seventh density there is not this particular energy exchange as it is unnecessary to recycle body complexes. Question 32.9 Questioner, I am assuming we have on earth today and have had in the past 4th, 5th and 6th density wanderers. As they come into incarnation in the physical of this density for a period as a wanderer, what types of polarizations with respect to these various rays do they find affecting them? Answer, I am Ra. I believe I grasp the thrust of your query. Please ask further if this answer is not sufficient. Fourth density wanderers, of which there are not many, will tend to choose those entities which seem to be full of love or in need of love. There is the great possibility probability of entities making errors in judgment due to the compassion with which other selves are viewed. The fifth density wanderer is one who is not tremendously affected by the stimulus of the various rays of other self and in its own way offers itself when a need is seen. Such entities are not likely to engage in the shall we say, custom of your peoples called marriage and are very likely to feel an aversion to child-bearing and child-raising due to the awareness of the impropriety of the planetary vibrations relative to the harmonious vibrations of the density of light. The sixth density, whose means of propagation you may liken to what you call fusion, is likely to refrain, to a great extent, from the bisexual reproductive programming of the bodily complex and instead seek out those with whom the sexual energy transfer is of the complete fusion nature insofar as this is possible in manifestation in third density. Question 32.10 Questioner, can you expand a little bit on what you mean by complete fusion to nature? Answer, I am Ra. The entire creation is of the one creator. Thus the division of sexual activity into simply that of the bodily complex is an artificial division, all things thusly being seen as sexual equally, the mind, the body and the spirit, all of which are part of the polarity of the entity. Thus sexual fusion may be seen with or without what you may call sexual intercourse to be the complete molding of the mind, the body and the spirit and what feels to be a constant orgasm, shall we say, of joy and delight each in the other's beingness. Question 32.11. Questioner, would many wanderers of these densities have considerable problems with respect to incarnation in the third density because of this different orientation? Answer, I am Ra. The possibility probability of such problems, as you call them, due to sixth density incarnating in third is rather large. It is not necessarily a problem if you would call it thusly. It depends upon the unique orientation of each mind, body, spirit complex having this situation or placement of vibratory relativities. Question 32.12 Questioner, can you give me an idea how the different colors, this is a difficult question to ask. I'm having trouble finding any words. What I'm trying to get at is how the different colors originate as the functions for the different expressions in consciousness. I don't know if this question is sufficient. Answer, I am Ra. This question is sufficiently clear for us to attempt explanation of what, as you have observed, is not easily grasped material for the intellectual mind. 
the nature of vibration is such that it may be seen as having mathematically straight or narrow steps. These steps may be seen as having boundaries. Within each boundary there are infinite gradations of vibration or color. However, as one approaches a boundary, an effort must be made to cross that boundary. These colors are a simplistic way of expressing the boundary divisions of your density. There is also the time-space analogy which may be seen as the color itself in a modified aspect. Question 32.13 Questioner, thank you. Is it possible for an entity in third density physical to vary across the entire band of colors or is the entity pretty well zeroed in on one color? Answer, I am Ra. This will be the last full question of this working. Please restate for clarity. Question 32.14 Questioner, I meant was it possible for a green ray person who is primarily of green ray activation to vary on both sides of the green ray in a large or a small amount in regards to energy activation, or is he primarily green ray? Answer, I am Ra. We grasp the newness of material requested by you. It was unclear, for we thought we had covered this material. The portion covered is this. The green ray activation is always vulnerable to the yellow or orange ray of possession, this being largely yellow ray but often coming into orange ray. Fear of possession, desire for possession, fear of being possessed, desire to be possessed, these are the distortions which will cause the deactivation of green ray energy transfer. The new material is this, once the green ray has been achieved, the ability of the entity to enter blue ray is immediate and is only awaiting the efforts of the individual. The indigo ray is opened only through considerable discipline and practice largely having to do with acceptance of self, not only as the polarized and balanced self but as the creator, as an entity of infinite worth. This will begin to activate the indigo ray. Question 32.15 Questioner, thank you. Answer, I am Ra. Do you have any brief queries before we close? Question 32. 16. Questioner. I think that anything I have would be too long, so I will just ask if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to make the contact better. Answer, I am Ra. All is well. We caution not only this instrument but each to look well to the vital energies necessary for non-depletion of the instrument and the contact level. You are most conscientious, my friends. We shall be with you. I leave you now in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, then, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.